G'day, it's Shane here from Australian Off-Road and it's an exciting day today because we finally get to unveil to you the brand new AOR Synergy. All right, so what we thought we might do is do a quick whip around the outside of the trailer first before we head in and check out the new interior and all the new colors that come with the new Synergy. But first and foremost, external cooking, external kitchen. Uh, this model here is actually a single bed model. So you can see it's set up here with our single bed kitchen. Hot and cold tap, Thetford twin burner, cooktop with a grill underneath and your separate uh, preparation space. So really well set up kitchen. Got a little bit of the pantry up the back, which keeps it nice for all your bits and bobs. So really well set up external kitchen for those nights you don't want to be cooking inside your trailer. You'll see when we get around to the nose cone, there's been a really big change with the Synergy. It's a brand new nose design. So that's given us the concept to be able to move some of the storage around. So instead of having such a big front boot, like the Aurora and our other single axle trailers have, you now get a lot more storage in storage drawers at the front. And we've created some extra storage at the back to help balance the trailers out a little bit more. So first and foremost, the large storage drawer up the front here as well. So these large storage drawers are great for all your camping accessories, all the pieces, bits and pieces that you need constantly, or can act as a second pantry to your external kitchen. Now this is the new design, this is the new look. So you can see it's a totally radically different design from our traditional uh, AOR trailers. So we've gone away from the front boot and now the spare comes up onto the draw bar here. But you've now got the new customized firewood rack so lovely big firework up the front here. You've got to give you great storage for firewood as you collect on your travels uh, when you're going to site. Jerry can holders, diesel tank, all still standard that hangs around up the front here. But you can see that the new nose design totally changes the look and feel of the trailer. Still comes with its pole carry along the front boot here. So you still get that full uh, storage there for any extra tent poles, camping poles, things like that. Good for fishing rods as well. And they're all marine sealed. And then not one, but two really large storage drawers. So again, another big storage drawer, great for all those extra canvas, your walls, um, your black hose, solar power points, all that sort of stuff. So plenty of storage for your trailer up on the outside. Continuing with the theme of storage, as I mentioned earlier, is we have moved some of that front storage that was traditionally in your front boot to the rear of the trailer. So you'll see in the back design of the trailer that there's no rear bar. So you do create a lot more storage down the back here. So you'll see with this first section here, gas strut aided lift up doors. So that's gonna stay up there. And you've got a huge amount of storage in the back here. You'll also see tucked around the corner there, there is an external hot and cold shower. So you do have that there. And then this becomes a huge amount of space. You could actually have a second spare wheel in there. We can even mount a washing machine if you wanted to, plus also extra storage up the top as well. After the big rear door is you also have on this side is your generator compartment. So you will see the clamshell vent on this side um, and then your storage for your generator underneath there. So this is designed that your, jaw, your generator would store inside. You'd be able to keep it in there. It is vented through the clamshell vent and you can see inside there is actually an air filter on there. So it's not gonna fill up with dust or anything like that. So that is a serviceable air filter to make sure that your generator is uh, protected. And then you will actually be able to run the generator in there. It is best to keep the door open to keep it really well vented, uh, but you can run the generator in there pull that down a little bit, it's gonna stay nice and dry when you're at camp. So you can see that one of the main things externally with the Synergy is really about creating more storage, more, more places for you to put some stuff, and also to spread the weight very evenly on the trailer. You will also see that it's running the new color scheme, so you've got the Dove Raptor Coat at the top, and this has actually got the Fighter Jet Grey Raptor Coat on the bottom half of the trailer. Uh, the fighter jet colour is actually one of the colours that come from our Sierra range of trailers. It's been really popular. And now with the new black textura uh, shrouds and frames on all of our doors and compartment hatches, you really get that contrast and break up on the side of the trailer. So when you have a good look down the side of the trailer, it's a schmick looking trailer.
A lot of people wouldn't think that the entry door is actually that exciting when it comes to an off-road caravan, but it is quite a unique bit of uh, engineering that comes in with the entry doors here on the Synergy. Like the Aurora, the actual body does have a taper in the wall. So making something with a bend in the middle of it seal and keep your 100% dust proof guarantee um, is always a bit difficult. So you'll see with the Synergy that there's plenty of compression locks on the door to ensure that it has that really tight seal, making sure that you've got plenty of time off-road, dust free. When you come into the door, you can tie that one back. So with your door closed, you still have a large area of screened uh, protection. So you still get good airflow through the van, also through all the windows, but you still have that door in that two pieces. So it's a, quite a good bit of kit. Well, here we are inside in the bedroom area of the Synergy. Now, as I mentioned before, this one is a single bed model. So this is an option that you can choose with the Synergies. This customer here, the first one that's going out, has selected the single bed option. So taking you through that, the big difference compared to, for instance, the Matrix, with the Synergy, is the vertical bed head. So that change of nose cone has allowed us to have a much more vertical bed head here. So if you're somebody that likes to sit up and read, you don't have to pack that out with a lot of pillows. You do have a lot more head space in the bedroom area of the trailer. GPO, so you've got your auto switching power points up the top here, so whether you're running off mains power or inverter power, plus also plenty of 12 volt sockets and USBs. In between the beds, you do have drawer system and under floor storage. Underneath there for some little odds and ends. But if you were to take a queen bed model, naturally this wouldn't be here, and you have a drawer system that runs through the middle of the trailer here. So quite a good air, uh, bedroom area. When it's a queen bed model, it is a full-size queen. The big difference is, and what the really exciting part of the Synergy is having that vertical bed head up the front of the trailer. Now moving into the living zone of the Synergy, you can see here, there's a bit of a configuration difference compared to the Aurora. The Aurora kitchen and everything was on this side, dinette off to the driver side of the trailer. We've flipped it for the Synergy to keep the open uh, space and plenty of natural light to come into the trailer. You can see now, bigger, wider dinette here to my right. And this has a trifold table, so you can fold the table away. So when you're just sort of sitting in and around and lounging, you've got the ability just to sit and have the table fold away. Or you can actually bring that table out and have it set up there permanently for your uh, dinner. If you're eating inside, the weather's bad, the fly's bad, something like that, and you want to be out of the elements sitting inside. Now I'm six foot two and sitting in here, nice big wide comfortable seats. So you got plenty of space. And now you do have the ability to lift up your foot rests on the side, spin around and kick your legs up the other way. So from the dinette, you can see right down through to the back ensuite of the trailer is you've got a huge amount of bench space. So all of the drawers are individually locked. We find that it's really important to have those sort of twin locking system. So all your drawers, you can know that you've got the ability of having good strong button locks there to lock them, but also from a point when you pack up camp and you're about to head off and you know you've got some corrugated roads coming up, you can easily do a quick visual check, make sure that all the buttons are in, and then you know that everything's locked away nice and safe. Like I said, it is all about having plenty of bench space, plenty of preparation space, but also getting a lot of natural light into the van. So you can see that we've got huge windows down both sides of the trailers to allow plenty of air and plenty of uh, light into the trailer. Also, we've added the Truma air conditioner on a roof mounted system above my head here, and that's gonna give you that ability to cool the trailer when it is really hot. With this one though, you do need to be connected to your generator or to mains power. Coming down to more of the, I suppose, the, the galley of the, of the trailer or the kitchen. Hot and cold sink, naturally, all plumbed into your, if whether you've taken a grey water system, plumbed into the grey water there. You've got your Setford cooktop in the corner here, really well positioned so it's easy to get into, easy to get stuff in from the sink to the cooktop. And then you've got the new uh, fridge freezer drawer system underneath. So fridge on top. 
plenty of storage in there, and then freezer on the bottom. Now you can set them to be both fridge, fridge or freezer, so there's a couple of combinations you can do there, but a great system to utilize good space, um, as well as not having a big bulky upright fridge, but still have plenty of cold storage with your trailer. And last but not least is the end of the trailer, which is your bathroom. So we open up here. With the new design, we've created a much bigger bathroom and shower space. This one here is fitted with the TMC Silent Flush Macerator Toilet. The Flick Mixer Hot Cold Tap is standard. And then you also do have a separate uh, sort of hand washing vanity in the trailer as well. So nice and spacious. About 40% bigger than our single axle trailers, um, internal bathrooms. Plus you have that ability of being able to wash your hands and do everything you need to inside, as well as a lovely little window out the back there. So one of the big design briefs around the Synergy was about having a, a bit of a take on the Matrix. So how do we keep a trailer similar size to the Matrix? So we've actually only increased the overall length by just over 200 mil, but to create a lot more internal space. By also creating a dual axle trailer, we've been able to lift the ATM up to 3,400, which is gonna give you a lot bigger payload. So therefore storage and load capacity becomes a huge element when looking at a trailer of this size. Keeping it as small as possible, but allowing you to pack more stuff away and carry it comfortably. Well, there you have it. There's a quick little rope whip around the new AOR Synergy. If it is something that interests you or any of our other trailers right through from the little Sierra ZR through to the Aurora, and especially now the new Synergy, please contact our sales team today. Um, and I'm sure the guys will be happy to help you and talk to you about your trailer needs. Thanks guys, take care.